My name is Kayla, and I started my fitness journey about six months ago. Um, getting into fitness wasn't something that I decided to do overnight, nor was it something that I did just because. Um, my dad is a type 2 diabetic and has suffered with diabetes for many years. My grandpa is also a type 2 diabetic, and it's something that I decided I wasn't going to let affect me or let anybody else in my family be affected by. It's been a very long and unhealthy relationship for a couple years, and when I decided to get out of it, um, I lost an unhealthy amount of weight due to stress and lack of eating. Um, I, at my lowest point, I was 89 pounds, which was pretty scary to me and everybody around me. I woke up one day and decided that I couldn't live like that anymore. It was kind of hit me in the face that if I didn't make a change, I was going to either be hospitalized, I could die. It just wasn't healthy for me, so fitness seemed like the best way to go for me. When I first started my fitness journey, ultimately my goal was to tone my body and you know put on a few pounds of healthy muscle, um, just get in shape, get my nutrition under control, but um, I reached my goal faster than I expected within a matter of months. Once I realized that my body was making improvements, um, you know I had quads come out of nowhere and a week later I had a little baby four pack of abs. Um, it's hard not to become mentally attached to the feeling that you get when you see these improvements. Especially when people are telling you how good you look, um, you know you feel good because your nutrition is good. Um, it's just, the feeling that you get is so overwhelming that it makes everything worth it and it nearly comes impossible to stop. Um, being as busy as I am, I'm a full-time mom, a full-time student. I work when I can, usually two or three days a week. Um, it's hard and it can be challenging to find time to go to the gym, but somehow I always do. Um, I think if it's important to you, you'll find a way, and if not, you'll find an excuse. There's been plenty of times where I've worked an eight-hour shift and got off work at 10 p.m. and came to the gym to do two-hour workout. There's also been a couple of times where I came to the gym at midnight because I couldn't sleep or, you know, been so busy doing homework, staying up late, and then come to the gym at one in the morning. It's just, it kind of becomes natural when you put it, when, it, when you make it important in your life, it becomes something that you make time for. I go to the gym six to seven times a week. I don't really have a rest day because I feel like even if I'm not lifting weights or doing a heavy workout, I can still do cardio 40 minutes a day and get a good workout in. Um, I'm a firm believer that abs are made in the kitchen and um, I, I'm very careful what I eat. I follow a very strict diet consisting of high protein, low carb to no carb days and lots of fiber. I don't eat sweets. I avoid soda pop at all costs. Um, as much as I would like to engulf in donuts and cake, I don't because I know that the negative effects it can have on your body. So nutrition is definitely key in my life and my fitness. There's quite a few people who have inspired me to get my butt to the gym, who's made it easier for me. Um, I'm inspired every time I walk through the doors. I love seeing the people here and the people in their environment doing their own workouts, doing what works best for them. But the, there's two people in my life who inspire me the most and that is one, my son, because I want him to grow up with a healthy life. I don't want him to ever have to suffer with any type of problems due to lack of nutrition or lack of healthy lifestyle. I try to get him outside and playing and active as much as possible. Um, the second person who inspires me the most is my boyfriend, who is also um, very active. He is a bodybuilder, going for his pro card in bodybuilding. Um, he is my motivator, my coach, my nutritionist, my support system, my backbone, my shoulder to cry on, everything. He helps me every day with anything I need and I just don't think I could do it without him. 
My goal now has drastically changed because I feel like I met my goal faster than I expected. But um, something I would like to do, something I would like to pursue would be bikini bodybuilding, which is a very, very toned, very petite type of bodybuilding. Um, it's not crazy triceps popping out everywhere and, you know, big glutes. It's just um, very petite, very pretty type of the competition. So if it's something that I want to pursue, I'm just going to have to keep pushing and working hard for it every day. Some advice that I would have for somebody who is trying to get into fitness or trying to just better their lifestyle um, would be to not get discouraged when you don't see results as fast as you want. It's very easy to get upset and turn your nose away at what you're doing. Try and find all these get skinny quick schemes that don't work. Um, fitness takes time and building muscle takes a lot of time. It can take years. Everybody's different. Nobody's body works the same way. You have to find what works for you. Um, once you get to a certain point in your fitness, you can start to manipulate your body with your diet, um, depending on what you eat, depending on your workouts. You know, it didn't, it didn't, you didn't gain 10 pounds overnight, and so you're not gonna lose 10 pounds overnight. Things take time. Um, so that's really just like the biggest thing that I have to say. Things take time, and you just can't.